In Antarctica, a helicopter pursues a sled dog to an American research station. The researchers witness as the passenger accidentally blows up the helicopter and himself. The pilot shoots at the dog and shouts at the Americans in Norwegian, but they are unable to understand him. He is shot dead in self-defense by Station Commander Gary. The American helicopter pilot, R.J. McCready, and Dr. Copper leave to investigate the Norwegian base. Among the charred ruins and frozen corpses, they find the burnt corpse of a malformed humanoid which they transfer to the American station. Their biologist, Blair, performs an autopsy on the remains and finds a normal set of human organs. Clark kennels the sled dog, and it soon metamorphoses and absorbs several of the station dogs. This disturbance alerts the team and Childs uses a flamethrower to incinerate the creature. Blair autopsies the dog thing and surmises that it can perfectly imitate other organisms. Data recovered from the Norwegian base leads the Americans to a large excavation site containing a partially buried alien spacecraft, which Norris estimates has been buried for over a hundred thousand years, and a smaller, human-sized dig site. Blair grows paranoid after running a computer simulation that indicates that the creature could assimilate all life on Earth in a matter of years. The station implements controls to reduce the risk of assimilation. The remains of the malformed humanoid assimilate an isolated Bennings, but Windows interrupts the process and McCready burns the Bennings thing. The team also imprisons Blair in a tool shed after he sabotages all the vehicles, kills the remaining sled dogs, and destroys the radio to prevent escape. Copper suggests testing for infection by comparing the crew's blood against uncontaminated blood held in storage, but after learning the blood stores have been destroyed, the men lose faith in Gary's leadership, and McCready takes command. He, Windows and Nalls find Fuchs's burnt corpse and surmise he committed suicide to avoid assimilation. Windows returns to base while McCready and Nalls investigate McCready's shack. During their return, Nalls abandons McCready in a snowstorm, believing he has been assimilated after finding his torn clothes in the shack. The team debates whether to allow McCready inside, but he breaks in and holds the group at bay with dynamite. During the encounter, Norris appears to suffer a heart attack. As Copper attempts to defibrillate Norris, his chest transforms into a large mouth and bites off Coppa's arms, killing him. McCready incinerates the Norris thing, but its head detaches and attempts to escape before also being burnt. McCready hypothesizes that the Norris thing demonstrated that every part of the thing is an individual life form with its own survival instinct. He proposes testing blood samples from each survivor with a heated piece of wire, and has each man restrained but is forced to kill Clark after he lunges at McCready with a scalpel. Everyone passes the test except Palmer, whose blood recoils from the heat. Exposed, the Palmer thing transforms, breaks free of its bonds, and infects Windows, forcing McCready to incinerate them both. Childs is left on guard while the others go to test Blair, but they find that he has escaped and has been using vehicle components to assemble a small flying saucer, which they destroy. Upon their return, Childs is missing and the power generator is destroyed, leaving the men without heat. McCready speculates that, with no escape left, the thing intends to return to hibernation until a rescue team arrives. McCready, Gary, and Nalls agree that the thing cannot be allowed to escape and set explosives to destroy the station, but Blair Thing kills Gary, and Nalls disappears. The Blair Thing transforms into an enormous creature and breaks the detonator, but McCready triggers the explosives with a stick of dynamite, destroying the station. Childs returns as McCready sits by the burning remnants, saying he became lost in the storm while pursuing Blair. Exhausted and slowly freezing to death, they acknowledge the futility of their distrust and share a bottle of scotch whiskey. Hit the like and subscribe button for more movie recaps like this, and comment on the next movie you want to see on the channel. Peace out.